Good morning. This is your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. Seeing some partly cloudy conditions out there this morning, as well as some windy conditions to start the day today. Seeing those winds overachieving a bit from what was forecasted yesterday, but uh, otherwise seeing a peak wind of 33 knots out on the island and slightly less here on the main base. But we are currently in a wind advisory as we start our day today. We take a look at the current surface analysis. We have that boundary uh, that has pushed to the south of the area early this morning. We're seeing high pressure building in behind that. That's helping to enhance the winds for today, remaining in a breezy pattern as we have seen for most of the week. We have that area of low pressure off the southeast coast. That's going to be the culprit for some potentially unsettled weather as we get mainly into the second half of the holiday weekend. If you look at current conditions this morning, we have a scattered deck around 2,700 feet. Sea and winds out of the northeast sustained around 18 knots, gusting up to 26 knots, seeing a temperature at 61 degrees, and relative humidity is at 67%. If we take a look at the current visible satellite, we could see some smoke still in the atmosphere, but mainly just some low and mid-level clouds around. Should see those start to fizzle out as we go through today and into the afternoon hours, remaining partly cloudy to potentially mostly sunny at some times during the afternoon. Looking at the European model here to see how things play out the next couple of days. Remaining dry as we go through the day today with those breezy conditions continuing. We'll likely see breezy conditions continue as we go into Friday. And also we'll see things remaining dry through Friday and into the first part of Saturday. As we go through today on Saturday, we'll pick up our first chance of rain as we get late in the day on Saturday. Likely uh, during the evening hours if we see that rain start to move in. That will be the earliest point we are expecting it at this time. Uh, you see the European model here keeps things dry through midnight. Um, other models showing some of the, that rain activity moving in a little bit quicker uh, just before midnight. But uh, otherwise, as we go into our Sunday, we'll start to see better chances of precip as we move through our weekend. If we look at the 24-hour weather risk chart for today, we see we have those gusty winds this morning out of the northeast, 15 to 20 knots, gusting up to 28 at our peak. And we should see those peak gusts come down slightly as we go through the morning and into the afternoon hours, still remaining uh, fairly breezy as we go through the day today out of the northeast, 12 to 17 knots, seeing our peak winds up around 25 knots. So we do have that red uh, color there for winds that are above 25 knots as we are currently in a wind advisory and keeping an orange risk as we go through the afternoon as we'll be at or just below that wind advisory criteria likely. Um, so can't rule out possibly sustaining that wind advisory through much of the day today. Otherwise, we'll see temperatures climbing to around 65 degrees. We'll see partly cloudy, mostly sunny conditions for the afternoon hours. As we go into the evening hours, we'll see things remaining slightly breezy to breezy for the first part of the evening, remaining slightly breezy as we go through the early morning hours on Friday. We'll see high clouds on the increase as we go through the evening as well. Seeing mostly cloudy conditions, but again, maybe mainly high clouds for the morning hours of Friday. We'll see temperatures dip down to around 52 degrees to start the day on Friday. And then we'll see partly sunny conditions as we go into Friday. But temp tides right now are running about a foot above normal. As we look at the next couple days, seeing partly sunny conditions, again, mainly high clouds through today. On Friday, we'll see breezy conditions continue. We'll see a high around 67 degrees, so we do have that yellow risk for winds that are above 25 knots. We continue that yellow risk as we go into Friday evening, seeing mostly cloudy conditions. Once again, mainly high clouds, and then as we get into Saturday morning, we'll see some mid-level clouds start to uh, move into the area ahead of that disturbance. We'll see slightly breezy to breezy conditions through the through the evening hours, we'll see a low around 55 degrees. As we go into Saturday, we'll see mostly cloudy to overcast conditions, and we pick up that slight chance of a rain shower, mainly late in the day um, as we get into the evening hours. Otherwise, we'll see a windy day as we go through the day on Friday as that low pressure starts to approach the area. Could see gusts up to 30 to 35 knots for our Saturday. So we do have that yellow risk for precip with that slight chance late in the day and into the evening hours. And then we do have a red risk for, for seeing winds at or above 25 knots, likely seeing a wind advisory for our Saturday and a high around 66 degrees. Well, that will wrap up the 815 
Daily Operations Weather Briefing will be back again at 10 a.m. to take a look at the extended forecast. Enjoy your morning.